This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm headed to the northeast side of the metro area to a place called Fountain Hills. I looked on uh, Google Earth and found some things that looked kind of, had some interesting spiral formations, and uh, you can even see the top peak of this mountain on the right. These peaks are just interesting to me, so I'm going to head up there and see if I can get anywhere near uh, observing what these are like. Alright, so check this one out. You see how this juts up right here at, at, at an angle, and that is the leeward side. Right, you can see the same thing kind of jutting out there on this ridge line, right in, right in the middle. And uh, I'm gonna turn in here. I don't know if I can get up there and get a better shot. Let's see. All right, so um, this is as close as I can get, but check that out. It's hard to see in this light. The sun's setting. Oh, let's see if I can. There you go. And again, I see. Uh, movement that goes up this way like that would continue down right here again if you're imagining a storm with eddies in it this would be an eddy this would be a little lip part coming off dipping down and then the the, the force of energy would be lifting up here and lifting off this direction There you go. So same things jutting out over here. Look at that. You know what? That's what I was trying to get to over there. I don't know. That's way far. I don't know if I can get there or not. The sun is setting. Well, I'm getting closer, but it still looks like it's far away. I don't know if I'm going to make it before the sun sets. That rock looks awesome. There's another view for it. Oh yeah. That's cool looking. I see a cave system in the side. Lots of different layers. It looks bubbly. You know, even just seeing this, all this red, it's just red dirt. This reminds me if this stuff was mixed up and turned into a clay, it would look just like the clay where I live in Texas. See the little pinnacle popping up on the far right? Yep, I do. And then you have the kind of big fat pinnacle on the top left. That's awesome. There's a beautiful desert sunset for you. That's awesome. Well, my wild goose chase took me far off. Uh, can't even see anything out here, but I'm going to try to get up to the peak and at least get a, a nice sunset view. Alright, almost to the top, but I can see the view now. That was the mountain I was trying to get to, so yeah, I'm way off track. Um, that direction is Apache Junction. Uh, those are the Superstition Mountains, I think. Man, I wish you could see it. It's beautiful right now, but you can't really see, obviously, because of the light. So, there you go. I'm gonna continue, I'm almost at the peak. All right, so, I don't know if you could see it, but that's the very top peak right here. You can see right off the edge this little pinnacle coming off there. Anyway, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Right there about dead center where that freeway ends is Phoenix. Uh, yeah. 
Well, and since I don't have daylight, I'm just going to use my flashlight and observe these rocks. This definitely looks like granite. Just lots of granite pebbles. Pretty cool stuff. It's a lot of granite and dirt. So this was built up this way. I do not see how this mountain or any of the other mountains I've been on are simply pushed up from the ground below. That's classic geology wants to say. I just I don't believe that. Look, you can see right here. Fix my light. See that little nodule in there? Looks like a little round nodule. And this whole little formation, you can kind of see the spiraling effect. And I'm standing on the top. Speculating more like I always do. I'm such a speculator. Go and check out these rocks. This is going down at a slight angle. Uh, but this is at the edge and it's a pretty straight drop off over here. I wanted to see these stones, how these how this stuff looks. And I see a defined line on this side. Man, here, let's let's try to do this. I see a defined line right here. This side appears to be flat, and this looks like it's built up as well. Look at this. And you can see the separation it's going down here. It just kind of looks like a circular blob here. There's a blob on the outside. climbed up a mountain in a while. Hey, look, there's a lot of those little kind of circular. They're squares and circles. I think I see a definite center there. And it just kind of looks like it's spiraling out here. Yeah, and that just drops off right there. This is a flat wall. If I could describe it, they're going up at an angle like this. Pinnacles. So maybe you could see this part right here. These pinnacles all pointing up, kind of in the same direction. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get so close to the edge. Again, I see these being layered out that way, is what my eyes see. There's another pinnacle, there's a pinnacle. Look at all this. Look at this kind of see this spiraling shape here clear definition and then it goes down this way All right. so this would have been the last piece to lift off all of these pieces were built up this way and lifted off right here lifted off this way look at this just like that and then you just have these straight cut lines through here. See like this, you see these lines? And it has these pinch points. And here's that very edge. Look, that's it, it's a straight drop down right here. It's a big drop. I don't know if you can see down there quite easily, but um, again, it seems like where the charge separation came through and molded these rocks. Look at this V-shape right here if you can. Let's try to look down. I'm looking down. You see that, that wedge shape all the way down? I think that's a pinch point in the plasma. Look, another straight line on this side. We look that way, it's like a V-shape. Another pinch point right here. Where these, these converging pressures were, were merging here like this and pinching up this stuff. 
that's organizing it. And more jutting out here at the top. back down. Oh, here's that pinnacle I was talking about. Look. Here, I gotta be careful right here. Nobody to save me if I fall. But look, you can see the direction is going up this way. And then on the top, again, you see another pinch point right here. Man, I wish I had sunlight. And then this portion wraps up. Pinches again right here at the top. And those pin pinched just almost straight walls here look at this it's just a straight wall look at that look how flat that is all the way down that's amazing moly Just about to leave, and I decided to walk over to the uh, the lower flat portion of the peak. And this is a big giant rock that's kind of close to the edge, but oh, this caught my eye here. And I don't know if you can notice the gradient difference in here. And there's a line. Let's see if I get the lighting right. There's a line that cuts through this way. I don't see it going anywhere that way, but. What was cool to me was, look at this. Look at that. Do you see all the fractal patterns in there? And then this, I don't know if it's, it's like a blue quartz. I don't know what that is, but um, it's pretty. Look at that. Look. That's incredible. And it's moving in a, it's moving in a certain direction too. Let's see if I can see something on the side here. Just up like this. Look at that. See that line that follows down over here? There you go. That line goes all the way up. What do I know? I don't know anything. I don't know nothing. And what I want to see again, I guess. Why does this side look different? This side looks different. Yeah, 
it curves around now and now it's got this weird gray stone in it on the other side is all of this um, all this granite mix With this gray stone right here look this is where the gray stone and the granite merge together <clears throat> Here you go. You can see it pretty clearly right here. Is that a mud layer? What is that? Oh. I mean, it's organized just like the granite, but look. It's. It's like a. This side is like a. Oh, look! <clears throat> you see that blue color? I oh, don't you can't see it in there, can you? Oh, here you go. Sorry. Do you see the blue inside? That's like a, that's like a pure blue color in this, this gray section. I see more of that blue here. <laughs> this white rock is like a talc. Some sort of chalky, chalky material. <laughs> But it merges right here with this granite. And then I see all these little specks of mica and quartz. Huh. There's that gray layer again. And it's over here. And it makes its way down that way. <clears throat> and then it looks like it ends right here. So this whole section of wall is this grayish bluish material. See, you see some granite kind of poking out in the middle here. Look, what's this blue stuff? What in the world? What is this? granite inside the gray stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look what's on the inside. It's just, it's just red dirt. And it formed the granite layer. Look at that little thin layer of granite that it formed right in here. about to leave and call it quits. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, you tell me. Again, I am the master of speculation when it comes to the geology world. Because I think all of this was from electric discharge, and these mountains were formed from plasma connecting to the Earth during major events in ancient history. But I want to know what this blue stuff is. And I want to know why there's this granite, and then whatever this gray, chalky material is. Look, there's more blue stuff. What is this blue stuff? It's just dirt. It's just dirt underneath there. Look at that little mica crystal. What is this blue stuff right here, man? Come on, geologist friends, tell me what this this is. <clears throat> and oh, does this come out? Yeah. 
it's staying on there. I want to know what that is. I'm about to do some research. <clears throat> Maybe if I get this video out tonight, y'all can tell me what this is. But hey, anyway, <clears throat> this part looks kind of suspect to me. See, look, and then the rest of it, it's just all granite. Oh, hey, look, that rock I showed you, it's just right over this peak. That last rock I showed you with that blue veiny quartz, that's that same blue stuff I was seeing. This blue is that same stuff I was seeing in there. Look, look, it's in there. I mean, I don't know if that's like a type of patina. I've just never seen it turn blue like that. <clears throat> um, but you know, pulling this piece out and seeing that there's this, look, this, is, this whole section right here is hard granite, okay? That section I pulled out down here, look where this gray stuff is, it's just dirt. Looks like red sand. Explain that to me. <clears throat> As I am gonna say that's a sorting of materials from uh, like that. I love this. This is great. <clears throat> I should pay attention to where I'm walking because a lot of loose rock. That's cool looking. Let's see if I could just peel back a layer and see what's under there. Sorry, mountain. Dang it. Oh, it's shiny and pretty. Look, there's that blue stuff inside. And again, it's... It's almost like a... <laughs> no, I want to call it a quartz, but it's not. I don't know. I haven't ever seen a blue quartz color like that. That's probably something real simple and dumb. Ooh, look at this. Oh, lost it. There you go, but look at the inside. Just all these nice little veins. Look at that. Come on, man. Nah. Oh, wow, look at that side. That's cool. Let's see if I can set this down and get something better. This lighting is not good because it's pitch black out here. Look. You can see the structure just goes kind of vertical. It's wavy. Look at that. You see the wavy pattern going this direction? And then what happens? Oh, hey, look. It's the peak of the mountain and stars. I should get out of here, but no. I can't because I'm freaking fascinated by rocks too much. All right, mountain. There, I just helped you with your natural erosion process. Because this mountain was billions, millions and billions of years, they say. But look at these. Look at that. It's a roundish kind of shape. I think this, whatever this is, cleaves well anyway, but I've been seeing in all these rocks, they're more of a, a round shape. See, but then they cleave with like straight lines, so. You know, I can't say that those vertical faces that I showed you weren't from just a whole side of this stuff just cleaving off. That could be a possibility. It's this, like, like a B pinch. The V pinch, not a Z pinch. A V pinch. 
Well, you know what? Look at this. See that angle? Wait, what the? Oh crap, look at that. Do you see what's in there? <laughs> There's a lizard up in there. That lizard was in that crack. That's cool. Anyway, what I was trying to show you is uh, this little portion here. This was at one time attached to the upper wall because the shape is matching identically. I hope you could see that, so, you know. Huh. Oh, there's that lizard. He sees me. He knows I see him. Oh, hey, little lizard. There he is. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Man, I love lizards. That's a cool-looking tail, though. Oh, yeah, you move. You try to get in there. He's scared. All right, I'm gonna leave this little guy alone so he can go to sleep. Um, look at that. Look at that. Oof. That's beautiful. All right, anyway, I think I'm actually really done now. I could just look at this stuff all day long and uh, I'm not gonna. I need to get somewhere. I need to get back to town and try to grab some dinner. So I got a flight to catch in the morning. So anyway, this is for real though. I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs> My goodness. I swear, every time I give up, I always find something awesome. And uh, I am about halfway down the mountain. I'm about to take a turn. It's almost at the end of the, right where it bends around. And check this out. If you could see how these pieces come together, and this goes down like this, check this out. Right in the middle, look at this vertical column. We've got a vertical column, and it goes right through how all this stuff bends. Vertical column, right? See this kind of still sticking up? That's part of the vertical column. And you could still see it right there going up. Look at that, you see that? And you note the separation right there, that, that fine, what it looks like about an inch, inch wide, going all the way down the right side of that. So I think this, look, it's all kind of pinching up to that portion too. <laughs> so anyhow, again, I think this is just more evidence of <laughs> more evidence of charge separation here. So, oh goodness! All right, well, might as well just come down, look down here a little bit. You know, it was kind of funny. Now I have to go back and look because right before I saw this, something made me stop and go, "What the heck is that?" Now I gotta find it again. It's just in the wall, there's just like this circular little feature I saw. Come on, where are you? There it is. Look, you can see everything kind of bending up that way and then it pinches off right there. Look at that. What's that? It's, it's just, it seems like it's solid right there and everything built up around it. You can even see these little round circular structures around there. See, there's one, two, three, four, five. Look, they're all kind of surrounding it. And I don't know if that was uh, just some sort of little focus of energy right there. But you can see how it all grew up this way. The direction is growing that way, growing if I got my directions right, kind of going, uh, it's going towards Phoenix. And, you know, kind of being lifted up. And my theory remains that Phoenix, if you've ever gone to Papago Park, Camelback Mountain, 
Um, there's there's several little ranges uh, in between these big mountain ranges. So I guess they're not ranges. They're they're little bubbly features, and uh, that's where they're like just pocketed full of of uh, like this looks like little craters or bubbles all in the side of these mountains, and this seems like it's reaching towards that area. So anyhow, I had to show you that again, because that's just fantastic. Here's another anomaly. Look, this is like a, it's almost like a seat. I could get in there. Wedges up. Anyway. All right, here on the south side, here's a whole section right here. That looks like it's that brown dirt that I found on the complete opposite side. That brown dirt. Kind of littered with granite formations in there. So I think these big mountains are just big piles of dirt and granite all mixed together. And as it's pulling this material in. I wonder how many times I've repeated myself. I should probably stop doing that. You know, the south side of this mountain is a lot dirtier. north side that I was just walking down it's kind of I guess that's the northeast side I was walking down uh, seemed to be real clean granite this seems to have a lot more dirt peppered in with it on this side so I'm thinking all that stuff came from this area was collected right here and pulled up so A lot dirtier. There's a lot more dirt mixed in with this rock on this side. And the walls are really steep on this side too. Look at that. That splits off in two directions right there. And then it pinches together right here. I keep trying to convince myself I'm wrong, but I don't want to tell myself I'm right. But this right here, you see that line right there? And that line right there? Watch how they go up. Well, it looks like actually this line stops. Look, that's just pure crystal. Oh, I found the daddy. I am headed towards the bottom and uh, check this out. This is about a three inch thick line of quartz. I don't know how far you can see it, but it goes all the way to the top in a very straight line. An absolute straight line. However, if you're looking at a different angle, guess what? It don't go in a straight line. So geology is going to say, hey, it was this way when it was formed under the earth. And then it was pushed up like this, sideways at an angle but I don't buy it. This is all formed this way. Absolutely formed this way. And right here is what I was looking for. I found a, a couple smaller ones over uh, up, up a little higher and on the other side, but this daddy right here, this is the type of evidence I'm looking for right here. My thoughts. That's an interesting patina line right there. Huh. I'm definitely done. Let's see where I'm at. What does the sign say? Private property. You shall be considered recreational. Owner not liable for injury. Stay on trail. Trail is not maintained. Used at your own risk. Yep, they are hazardous trails. I can vouch for that. All right, 
Now I'm officially done. See ya.